All right, guys, I just finished filming. It's Sunday. I taught classes this morning. And one of my friends, who's also a client of mine, called me saying that he has something for me. Tristan, say hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, he's also a subscriber and fan of the channel. What did you do? I was in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I said, you would love this. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh my god. <laughs> You're sweetheart. This is my dream Hoya, you guys. Tristan. Check out the blooms. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and look at how tall this thing is. I know. This is amazing. I couldn't believe it. Oh my goodness. All right. Ebby, look. Hey. Say hi, Tristan. Hi. So I just did a little bit of plant love for Tristan. So since he came by with such a beautiful gift, I had to send him home with a bunch of Hoyas. I got a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess, Hoya Carnosa Tricolor, Crinkle 8, Here's a little baby, so I'm giving him pretty much my baby that I had for two years. There's three of them in here, so as you can see, it's a slow grower. In return, I decided it would only be right if I pass him down my Hoya compactor that I had for two years. I love it. <laughs> so you can go ahead and raise my baby now. Aww. And then this is one of my favorites, the Obovada. And guys, I decided to give him a tail from my best friend's house in Las Vegas. It is a cutting. So careful, but guys, this is what happens if you come showing up to my place with plants. I'm not gonna leave you empty handed. Tristan, are you excited? I'm so excited, and I wasn't <laughs> expecting anything. So thank you. <laughs> and he's already gotten a couple of plants from and me. Also, tell the channel that I've inspired you, and what plant did you get? Well, I got a sense of area. That was the first one I got. Okay, so. After I got inspired first. All right, <laughs> so he's an official plant that you have a Hoya collection now. This is awesome, thank you, Julia. All right, All right guys, I wanna go ahead and kinda give you one quick overview of where it's at right now. I really don't wanna touch this thing or replant it because it's doing so good. And here's the pot, like you can't even see it. Do you guys see that? Oh my God, like this thing is stuck under here. I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up because it looks like you are under there like where are you oh my goodness it's like curled up but do you guys see this? this thing is absolutely stunning here you go an unbloomed hoya do you guys see that these blooms are about to open up I can't believe they're everywhere like literally everywhere take a look at that every single one has blooms either about to pop up and open and bloom or has already given blooms like take a look at this you guys this is so stunning I can't even I don't know what I'm gonna do guys like I don't want to take it out of the planter but I want to just because it deserves um, some TLC sound off down below I definitely need to go ahead and transplant this thing sooner than later absolutely beautiful I've never seen anything like this this is so spectacular not only is it super long like i need to go ahead and measure how long the longest trail is it is so full and this whole thing is blooming i can't first of all i've never seen a hoya this long i'm going to give you guys a up close point of view of what the blooms look like before they open up and then not only is this thing stunning but literally guys every single trail has blooms on it like look at this here's one in full bloom i can't this thing is so so stunning take a look at this long trail guys look it splits off in two and then there's more blooms here and here i can't 
I'm like, I'm so impressed. This thing is so stunning. I'm gonna go back so you can see the whole Hoya in the frame. Take a look at it. I'm in love with it. I'm scared to transplant it just because of the largeness of it all. I love how it splits off and trails. This one trail splits off into two trails right here. Do you see that? As the neighbor's dog bark. And it goes all the way down here. This thing is so impressive. The more I look at this, the more impressed I get. I can't believe it. Like, look at this. My arm is getting so sore from holding on to this thing. But it is so long. I'm gonna have to measure this thing. This is crazy. And I'm gonna have to definitely document its growth. Do you think I should transplant this, leave it in its nursery planter? Um, I would like to go ahead and also fertilize it too. Oh. Moving forward in my plant collection, I don't have anything this spectacular. Not only is the Hoya Compacta a really fun, cool plant, it's a slow grower, and I can't believe I have this in my collection. Oh my goodness, you guys, give this video a big thumbs up. I can't believe it. The only thing that I am kind of concerned on, and look, look at this. This one baby trail has three splits off of that. That is so cute. And you can see its newest leaves unfurling here. There is some kind of like, like algae growth on it on the top. If you took, take a look here, I'm gonna have to like clean him off, but that'll be like a whole project on its own. So stay tuned for upcoming videos on my Hoya Compacta. I would like to go through this whole plant with a Q-tip and clean him off because as you can see, there's a lot of algae on it. So I wanna go ahead and take care of the plant and give it its best life. But this thing is so stunning. I can't believe it. I'm gonna have to untangle it. And I wanna go ahead and get my measuring tape to measure up the longest trail. All right, so I have my measuring tape. I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and measure its longest trail. And it's gonna be hard to figure out which is the longest trail. But I want to say this guy here to be the longest trail. It's so interesting how it like trickles off to multiple sections here. Okay, so I think this is the longest trail that I have. And we're going to measure him and see how long his longest trail is. I want to say you the longest trail right here oh my goodness do you guys see this this is crazy okay so this is what i'm gonna do we're gonna do it like fabric I'm gonna hold it onto here Hold it onto here. All right, you guys. Let's see what this thing lengthens out to be. Oh my goodness. You guys wouldn't even believe. I want to say it's about 65 inches long. If I'm not mistaken, this plant is 65 inches long. I'm gonna find the shortest trail, guys, and measure it for you just so you can see. I think the shortest trail is gonna be this guy back here. Oh my gosh, that thing is so stunning. Let's see here. So it looks like the shortest trail is 21 inches long. 21 inches long is the shortest trail. I cannot believe it. This was really cool to do. Okay. All right, everybody, say hi to Catherine. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yes, for what? For my surprise. 
okay. Did you get that big long thing? No. You went. You got that? No. Where's that fish from Canoga Park? Or no. That's yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you are crazy. No, I didn't buy it though. It was a surprise. You got a present? Yeah. Holy moly, who got you that? My client Tristan. Oh my gosh, that is the sweetest present in the whole world. That thing is special. That I is, know. That is like fairy tale special. I know. You're like a princess now. I know. It's like a Rapunzel, you know, compacta. I know. This is the most beautiful <laughs> compacta in the world. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, that's so crazy. tell the channel, what do you think about this Hoya in person? Oh, it's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. Really amazing. I'm trying to untangle this thing because it was kind of growing in and out of the planter. And in the process of doing that, I had one big section here fall off, which was right here. But it's okay. I'll go ahead and propagate it in an upcoming video. As you can see here, this little section here was actually looped up in there and in the planter and I freed it up and I got a long trail out of it and that happened to multiple places on this Hoya so now I think I got it all untangled and here is its true length take a look at this this is so crazy I can't believe this thing is taller than me here you Here's see these two were kind of like intertwined together and I freed it up so I want to go ahead and count the long trails here so in this section here it splits off I love that in multiples there's one section here here's the second one super long here's the third one here and I'm gonna try to count the blooms too there's two blooms here Here's another section, even if it's small. So I want to go ahead and try to count how many trails I have and how many blooms. So let's go ahead and count the trails first. So I have one back here, which I untangled. As you can see, I had to get the roots out because it was tangled up in there like a horseshoe. So there's one there, two here with multiple sections three and four that I got loosened up five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so there's at least sixteen from what I can see trails now let's go ahead and count the blooms here one two three okay three oh my goodness four splits off there too four ooh five Six. Oh my goodness, you guys. None on this one, I don't think. Let's see. None on this one. I freed it up though. Six. Here's seven. Multiples down here. Eight and nine. Take a look at that. It's hiding. Eight and nine is here. Oh my goodness. Here's ten. Ten, eleven. Oh my goodness. Here's more here. Twelve. It also splits off down here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Twelve. Thirteen here. Fourteen. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to photograph that. 
So I want to say there's 14 blooms on here. I'll go ahead and propagate this. And look at it. There's like three sections here. Crazy guys. I just can't. I don't know. Now I just can't believe I have this thing in my collection. I've been thinking about it literally all week. I seen it in person on Wednesday. Today's Sunday. Five days later, it is in my collection. It is so surreal. Um, give this video a big thumbs up for amazing friends. I'm so speechless. I'm definitely going to be looking at this thing every day and I feel so, so blessed. So give this video a big thumbs up for amazing friends. My collection is so, so special. And of course, if you are in my life, there's going to be a point in time where you're going to end up getting plant babies from my collection. What do you think? I can't believe it. I'm still on a Hoya plant high. I've never seen anything like this before and this is the first time I've ever seen Hoya bloom. Kristen, I know you're watching this video because you're also a subscriber and a viewer and I can't believe I have this plant. So guys, give him a shout out in the comments down below because I definitely love to show him some plant love on the channel. Stay tuned for Hoya videos. I definitely want to give this thing a clean up because there's some fungus growing on it and I definitely want to go ahead and give it its best life. Also, I would love to know in the comments if you have the Hoya Compacta, how long is your longest trail? Leave it in the comments below because my longest trail for my original Hoya was probably about this long and that's probably like two years worth of growth. Um, so it is a slow grower, but let me know what do you guys think about this amazing Hoya. It's definitely not going to be the first and last time you see this beautiful Hoya compacta on my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This was definitely something so, so special and definitely a milestone for my plant collection. I can't believe I have this plant. This is probably my most prized plant now in my collection. If you guys enjoyed this video and you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I have hundreds of videos on the channel. And see you tomorrow. You can find more on my blog at lojulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. And my beautiful, brand new baby, my Hoya Compacta. Bye, guys.